everyone, it's Erin from EB Mixed Media on Instagram and YouTube. Today I'm going to be making some place cards using products from Graphics Arts. These are really festive fall place cards that you'll be able to use on your holiday dinner tables. Let's get started. The first step in creating our place cards is decorating or painting our craft plastic. This is the opaque white. It's 12 by 12 sheets and there are four in a package. I've already cut up a 12 by 12 sheet into a six by six square just to make things easier. This is what we're going for. You're gonna want some paper towels because this is gonna get messy. For this first technique, we're using high flow fluid acrylics and a water spritzer. I'm choosing really nice fall colors. This is where your paper towel comes in. It's nice to have a paper towel that has a decorative pattern. And I'm just gonna blot, and in doing so, move some of these colors around the page. I'm using golden high flow acrylics in quinacridone nicolazo gold, quinacridone magenta, and benzamidazolone yellow medium. I'm also using Dr. P.H. Martin's iridescent calligraphy colors in frosted peach and amethyst. You'll want to alternate between adding the paint, the water, and then drying it. Keep adding colors and layers until you're satisfied with the results. I finished off with some acrylic ink in gold. I feel like there's too much gold here covering up this orange, but I can take a wet wipe and pull that right up and expose some more of that orange. It's super handy with this craft plastic. Isn't this pretty with the gold shimmer? In this second technique, I'm just finger painting with inexpensive acrylic craft paints and some white gesso. We can add some more interest using a leaf stamp and some archival ink. Next, I'm using a makeup sponge to apply gold acrylic paint with a stencil. I love that shimmer. For our final technique, I'm going to decorate our craft plastic with watercolor. As we did with our acrylics, keep adding layers of color, alternating between watercolor and your dryer until you get the effect you're looking for. Now I'm going to add some stamping with Distress Ink in Walnut Stain. And let's finish this one off with some splatters of gold. To embellish our place cards, we're gonna make some really fun pumpkins and leaves using graphics shrink film in metallic and clear. To color in my pumpkins and leaves, I'm going to be using alcohol ink markers. Keep in mind that your pumpkins and leaves will shrink to 20% of their original size. So you'll wanna take that into consideration when you're drawing them. Keep your pumpkins simple and loose. I basically make four sections, sort of curving them like an open parenthesis and a closed parenthesis. Add layers of differing colors to give depth and interest. Next, I'm using a black alcohol ink marker to outline my pumpkins. Again, keeping it very loose. The looser, the better. Now let's do some leaves. We'll follow the same process, keeping the shapes really simple, making sure we're taking into account the shrinkage, and outlining in the black alcohol ink marker. Choose a variety of colors for interest. Now that we have our pumpkins and leaves drawn, we need to cut them out. I like to leave a bit of a border around each item, especially when you're cutting the gold because it makes such a nice accent to have that gold trim. There are a couple of ways that you can shrink your shrink film pumpkins and leaves. You can shrink them in an oven. You can also use a heat tool. I like to do it in this box in order to keep it from blowing around. Within seconds, you'll notice the pumpkin begin to shrink. It oftentimes will roll in upon itself. But don't worry, that's part of the process and it will straighten out. So we have our beautifully uh, painted craft plastic. We're going to cut these six by six pieces into two by three pieces. So I have my cards cut. On the back side of my template, I have divided the template in half, one each on each side. This is our fold line for our cards. So we can simply place our template lining up 
the edge of the card with the center of our template. I'm gonna put this down to protect my work surface. And I'm gonna use a ruler to just score a line with my awl right along there. This will just help to fold the card. If you did our first technique using high flow liquid acrylics, you can actually write right on the place card and then erase it for future uses. However, on the watercolor, if you wipe it again, it will reactivate the watercolor and take it off. The same is true of the acrylic craft paints. If you wipe it with a wet wipe, you risk taking off the paint. But there is a solution to this. I'm using Graphics Laminating Film. This is a great uh, laminating film with an adhesive backing. I've got some cut to size right here. And it's so simple. We're simply going to peel off and stick on. and then trim the edges. And now you have a writing surface that you can erase each year. To fix our pumpkins and leaves to our place cards, I'm going to use Graphics Artist Tack. When you peel off this protective top sheet, you'll see there's several dots of glue. Place your pumpkin or leaf onto the sticky side of the Artist Tack and burnish it to get that glue onto the item. Now you can easily affix your pumpkin or leaf to your place card and you're ready to go. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope as we move into fall you find some inspiration here for decorating your own holiday table.